to another edition of the Student Fire Podcast, live from the Speak Fire Studio. My name is Bobby Berg. I'm a motivational speaker for schools, and I'm here to help you live your best life today. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Student Fire with me, your host, Bobby Berg, live from the Speak Fire Studio. Y'all, how have you been? I hope everyone's had a wonderful week, and if your week hasn't been wonderful, sorry. Better yet, I hope you've at least had a decent weekend. And let's jump right into this because it's Monday morning and I'm pumped, you're pumped, and if you're not pumped, you're about to be. I want you to ask yourself something. When you're getting to class, when you're getting ready for school in the morning, when you finally walk through the doors of your school, how do you look at your day? How pumped are you to run up to your buddy's locker and start just chatting and seeing how they're doing? How excited are you to actually get in the classroom with your favorite teacher? These are real questions, y'all. So many of you go through class, so many of you go through your day, and you're just, you just go through it. You're not excited. The only thing you're looking forward to is at the end of the day, when that final bell rings and you get out of that building. Now granted, I love my free time too, don't get me wrong. I love being able to just get home, relax, hang with my animals, hang with my family, do what I can, and just chill. But at the same time, that's not all I do. For so many of you, that's the only thing you're looking forward to, and that's so terrible. How many of you get so pumped for the weekend? I do, don't get me wrong, I love the weekend, but think about this. How different would your life be if you said, you know what, the weekend's coming, and I'm excited for all these other things that I get to do, but most of all, I'm excited to grow. I'm excited to actually sit down and study. Now, I understand, a lot of you don't like studying. It's okay. I hate studying. So I'm taking these graduate classes at Troy University, and... I started to realize this semester that I need to change up my study habits. Actually, I realized last term that I needed to change up my study habits. So I did. Instead of just reading the book and thinking, oh, I remember it, I started taking notes by hand. I'm not here to get into the debate of taking notes by hand or typing them. That doesn't really matter. I want you to realize that as I was going through this, I knew that something had to change. I had to change. I had to change my methodology. When you go back to class this week, I want you to change your methodology towards studying. I want you to change your methodology towards learning. I want you to look at what's going on in your week, and I want you to plan for it. How different would it be if you said, all right, listen, I'm going to get this homework done this night, and you planned your homework out the whole week. How different would it be if you said, I know my teacher gives this to me at the last second, but I'm going to do it right away and just knock it out and be done with it. Y'all, you have to change your habits. You can't be the same person you were last year. Even if you did really well, even if you got a 4.0, I don't care. You can't be that same person because to go to that next level, you need to get rid of that shell of who you were and change into who you are going to be. Listen, I understand that school is hard and it's just the first week for some of you. For some of you, it's the second week. It doesn't matter. We're rolling full speed here. We don't have time to back off. I know we took the throttle and we pushed it all the way forward, but guess what? There's a reason we put a locking mechanism in that. Because you don't have time to stop. You are too important in changing this world to take a step back. Y'all, just look at your life. Look at your day. Look at your schedule. I'm telling you, change your habits. Y'all, if you don't take anything away from this, the very first thing I want you to do every morning is make your bed. I know it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but that little bit of discipline that you instill with the first Thing that you do in your day, that little bit of discipline will carry you so far. So this week, I want you to seriously take an inventory of what needs adjusting, and I want you to do it. No more of this letting things slide, no more of this being lazy, no more of this being the you that you were last year. You can do this. Your study habits need to be adjusted. Because for so many of you, if you're stu- the reason you don't like going to class is because you don't understand why you're there. You don't fully understand the information that's being presented and i'm telling you right now the second you change your study habits to understand what you're doing to really 100 percent realize why you're doing the things that you've done man it's going to change the game i hope everyone has a wonderful week i hope you're excited i hope you're motivated i hope your friends are there for you when you need them i hope your family realizes how much you love them and i will catch y'all in the next one peace another awesome episode of the student fire podcast thank y'all for sticking around for this long but i got a question for you have you ever thought about starting your own podcast see when i was trying to get this podcast off the ground i had a lot of questions like how do i record an episode 
How do I get my show to apps? Like, do I have to do it individually or can I just have one place that does everything for me? And most importantly, how do I make money for my podcast? Is that even an option? Well, honestly, y'all, your answer is Anchor. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it is 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors that want to advertise on your podcast. Yes, you. That means you can get paid to make the podcast. You can get paid to podcast the right way. In fact, that's exactly what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. If you want to get down on this, if you want to make your podcast a reality and you want your success and your word to be a thing, man, you already know. Hop over to Anchor and give it a start. You won't regret it. Catch y'all in the next episode. Peace. I am excited to bring you my new book, Trendsetter, Seven Steps to Radically Stand Out to Be the Best You. This book details my journey of coming to the United States and being excited to embrace the American culture. But unfortunately, my culture was not accepted and I found myself being bullied as a young girl. And in this process, I decided that I wanted to disconnect from my culture to be more accepted into American culture. And through that process, I got so depressed from trying to fit in that I attempted suicide my freshman year in high school. So this book talks about the journey of what I did to become radically transformed to be the strong woman I am today. This book is something that's really going to enable the reader to understand and embrace who they are, embrace what makes them special and become radically transformed. Get your copy today at becomingatrendsetter.com. Again, that is becomingatrendsetter.com or check it out at my website at aishathomas.org. Guys, did you realize that one out of four children do not have fathers in their home? Man, that is mind boggling. But on the flip side, that means three out of four children have dads in their home. But are they really present? Are they engaged? Are they active? Are they invested in their kids' lives? Are they being dads? Are they truly fulfilling their duty as fathers? And this got me thinking, man, it'd be a great opportunity to create a podcast where we can explore the joys, the challenges, the triumphs, the sorrows, and the successes of being a dad. Join me every Monday at 4 a.m. as we explore fatherhood on Father's Fire, another phenomenal podcast that's part of the Speak Fire family.